All right, what anime am I going to be watching for summer 2023? Now, I don't usually make these types of videos. Usually, I'll just go through the any chart and pick up a couple of animes, watch them on my own, talk about them later. That's usually what ends up happening, but I kind of want to make a video just going over what I'll probably be watching. So the website I'm using is called AnyChart. It basically tells you what anime are coming out. Now, I kind of did vaguely scroll through this season's anime. There are a couple of anime that I am quite excited for. For starters, the one that's right on the screen right now is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Of course, I loved Season 1. I was reading the manga for a long time. And, and I believe the second season is supposed to cover one of the best arcs in the manga. So yeah, I will definitely be watching. That comes out in 14 days from today. Mushoku Tensei, I love the anime, but I'm not caught up anymore. I was for a while. I'll probably try to catch up and then watch Mushoku Tensei when I have some time. But as of right now for summer, I probably will not be watching the latest season of Mushoku Tensei. So I'll probably skip that. Hori Mia Peace, another anime I've seen the first couple of episodes of, but I ended up dropping it. Um, I've kind of wanted to pick Hori Mia up recently after watching Kaguya-sama and finishing that and catching up on that. So I might go and pick up Hori Mia soon and then maybe I might be watching this. I don't know if this is... I wasn't the biggest fan of Hori Mia. It wasn't my favorite rom-com or anything like that, but it was cool. All right, the next one is the continuation of Bleach. Of course, I will be picking that up. So, so far we have two that are 100% I'll be watching during summer. And then we have two that I'll probably be watching on my own time and probably not this summer. The next one is Masamune-kun no Revenge R. Now I have watched the first season of Masamune-kun, but it's been such a long time since I watched this anime. It's a rom-com anime. It's kind of like about this guy who, you know, in school he got rejected by his crush and then he worked on himself and now he's trying to get revenge on his crush. It's it's interesting, I would say. Um, it wasn't that good from what I remember the first season. I didn't really enjoy it that much. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I might check it out. I might continue that. I don't know. We'll see. The next anime I'm definitely watching, it's ZOM 100. Now, I have read, I think, the first 20 chapters of the manga. So, I was quite deep into the manga. And now that there's an anime coming out, I'm definitely going to pick this up. If you're someone that loves zombie media, this is definitely your taste. ZOM 100. I highly recommend you check it out. You should honestly check it out even if you don't like zombies. It's really good. It's an action comedy. It's being done by a completely new studio. I don't think they have any history, but I was watching the trailer and the trailer looked very good. I also believe ZOM 100 is actually getting a K-drama series as well. So that's pretty cool. I might check that one out as well. Okay, the next series is Rent a Girlfriend Season 3. I will not be watching this listen I, I read like the first couple of chapters of the manga i just did not continue with it so yeah that's something i probably won't be watching the next one is another rom-com it's i think it's called the girl i like forgot her glasses it's another rom-com i believe it's a shonen from what i know damn there's a lot of rom-coms this year or this summer this one i'll probably hold off until i see people's reactions to it if there's a lot of people that are talking about it or if my mutuals are talking about it and they like it, I'll probably check it out. It just depends on my mutuals for this one. So that one's a possibility. I might say 50%. Okay, the next one goes by the name of My Happy Marriage. Now, I don't know anything about this anime other than the fact that it's a shoujo. And I think because of that, I'll pick it up. Just because I've been trying to watch a lot more shoujo as of recently. As we speak, I'm currently watching Nana and I've been enjoying it a lot. So I'll probably watch this one as well. This is probably going to be my 10th shoujo anime I'm watching. So yeah, I'm not really keeping track. The next one is Bungo Stray Dogs. I've never seen it, so I'm not continuing to watch it. There's no point. I will eventually get around to it, but not right now. The next one is Devil is a Part-Timer. Now, I did watch season one. It's been a very long time, so we're finally getting a season two. Yeah, I'll probably check this one out as well. This one is one I'll definitely watch. The next one goes by the name of Liar Liar. It's I was looking at the genres. It's itchy and psychological, and I don't think I'll be watching that, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, the next one is the Reign of the Seven Spellblades. It's actually being done by JC Staff. This one I might, depending on the community it has or the amount of people watching it. So it honestly depends on that. I think so far that's everything I'll be watching. And then Sugar Apple Fairy Tale Season 2. I know that's coming out by JC Staff as well. So I'll probably be watching that as well. And I don't think anything else I'll be watching unless, like, you know, a lot of people tell me to watch it. And then I'll check it out. I did see that there's a music anime coming out and I kind of been enjoying music anime. Like I really like Bochi the Rock. I like the music aspect of Nana. I don't think I'll watch this, but if it has like a good solid fan base, I might. Listen, a lot of things I watch depend on their popularity. If something's very popular, I'll check it out. That's just how I am. But listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. I'll talk about all things anime manga related. Anyways, because I'm going back to school this fall, I'll probably have to start watching less anime. So I'm going to try to still watch as much as I can, of course, even when I'm in school, but I'll probably have to lessen it because right now I watch a lot. So yeah, we'll see how that works. But anyways, listen, peace out everyone.